Dear friends, welcome to the next problem of gears that is problem number 2. Delta is the velocity ratio of two spur gears in mesh is 0 0.4 and the center distance is 75 millimeter. For a module of 1.2 millimeter, find the number of teeth of the gears. What will be the pitch line velocity if the pinion speed is 800 rpm? Also find the speed of the gear wheel. Friends, let us first note down the given information. Here it represents the pair of spur gear. This is a pinion denote by 1. Let the diameter of the pinion be small d. This is a gear denoted by 2 and the diameter of the gear is capital D. The center distance between them is C and it has been given that velocity ratio is equal to 0 0.4. Center distance C is equal to 75 millimeter. Module of the gears M is given 1.2 millimeter. Speed of the pinion that is N1 is given 800 rpm. We have to find out number of teeth of pinion denoted by small t, number of teeth of gear denoted by capital T and also we have to find out the pitch line velocity v and the speed of the gear that is n2. Friends, here we know that the module is given by m is equal to pitch circle diameter divided by number of teeth. So, for pinion we can write m is equal to small d by small d and for gear we can write capital D by capital T. But we know that module for both the gears for a pair must be same. So, we can write <coughs> this D is equal to mt and capital D is equal to m into capital T. So, we can write for center distance C is equal to pitch radius of pinion that is small d by 2 plus capital D by 2 that is pitch radius of gear. So, here C is equal to D plus capital D by 2. Substituting the values in terms of module and number of teeth that is M into small t plus M into capital D by 2 that is equal to M into small t plus capital D by 2. And rewriting the terms we found small t plus capital T is equal to twice C divided by M. Upon substitution of value we found small t plus capital T is equal to 2 into 75 divided by 1.2 that is module. So, we found relation 1 that is small t plus capital T is equal to 125. We know that velocity ratio is given by N2 upon N1 and that is equal to small t upon capital T is given 0 0.4. So, rearranging the terms small t is equal to 0 0.4 into capital T. Substituting this in relation 1, we found that is 0.4 times capital T plus capital T is equal to 125. And rearranging and calculating value of capital T is 
Now, capital T represents the number of teeth of gear, which must be a integer number. So, the number of teeth of gear T is equal to, let us say, 90. And number of teeth of pinion, small t, can be given from the relation 0.4 into capital T, that is 0.4 into 90 is equal to 36. Now, pitch line velocity V is given by the pitch circle radius of pinion into angular speed of pinion, that is R into 2 pi n1 upon 60. Here we can write the pitch radius r is equal to module into number of teeth of pinion divided by 2 and on substitution of values module and number of teeth we found the pitch radius of pinion small r is equal to 21.6 millimeter. So now, the pitch line velocity V can be written as V is equal to R into 2 pi n1 by 60 on substitution of values that is R is equal to 21.6 into 2 pi into n1 is equal to 800 divided by 60. We find pitch line velocity V is equal to 1800 and 9.55 millimeter per second. Also, we know that that velocity ratio Vr is equal to N2 that is driven speed divided by N1 driving speed. So, we can write N2 is equal to that is speed of driven that is gear is equal to velocity ratio into speed of driver that is pinion. So, substitution of value that is equal to 0.4 into 800 gives the speed of gear N2 is equal to 320 rpm. So, we can conclude that the number of teeth of pinion is 36 number of teeth of gear is 90, pitch line velocity is 1809.55 mm second and speed of the gear is 320 rpm. Thank you friends.